I do remember it was in 97. That's a good decade ago. It's about 100 years in fashion world. You know that, don't you? Um, it was one of my first published shoots and it was with Jürgen Teller. And I was on a go-see. And he literally shot a few Polaroids of me in his living room. I was still wearing braces, I was still doing my air levels and it was pretty remarkable. I didn't really know or appreciate who he was or what it meant to work with ID at the time. How would you say um, modelling's affected your life from the girl who went to see your Vintella? Oh, it's intense. It's hard to really formulate and put into words. I think, you know, I was spotted and I was found and I was on my own little journey. I was going to be a school teacher. And then on a sort of unremarkable rainy day, my life was actually changed forever. And um, I haven't really looked back since. I've just allowed the fate to kind of take charge of me and carry me through. So it's, um, it's, very, it's, it's been very good. Now what are you like? I turn my phone off. How many of these have you done? And actually for somebody that has quite um, a shy disposition, it has been very good for me, even the challenges, even the not so easy times, because I believe that it has given me the forced confidence that's required to stand up in the world and to be noticed and to be hopefully appreciated for all the right reasons. And that is that you are appealing to somebody else out there that will look to you for some sort of inspiration, hopefully. Um, this is my first shoot with ID. Like when I started, I was just like, ah, me, model, having a laugh. Like I thought, like when I got scouted, I was just like, uh, they're having me on. But um, no, I was just like, and then I got my first job, like Italian Vogue, and I was just like, whoa. I was like sat on the plane to land. I was like, no, nah, this isn't, nah, this is a hoax. <laughs> but no, it was pretty, pretty wild. And then like, shooting loads of stuff, like travelling a lot, so it's really cool. I come off to New York Saturday, Sunday even, yeah. So that's pretty wicked. <laughs> well, it changed my life a bit because I grew up in like a really rough background, but yeah, it pulled me out of that big time. But um, yeah, no, it's, it's been crazy, but good in a good way. But yeah, it's like I'm the mad one. <laughs> yeah. I remember where I was. So I remember I was lying in the middle of New Cavendish Street on the road, I think, with your dad standing over me. <laughs> really? I think so. Hmm. Do you remember? Um... What year it was? No. I think I was maybe allowed to be a child a lot longer. And now, finally, I feel like a grown up. But I think maybe if I hadn't had all that, I would have been a grown up a bit earlier. But I don't mind that. I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> all I can say is it was a very long time ago. Gosh, that's a big question. How long have you got? <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know what to say really. It's probably affected me in lots of ways. Um, good ways and not so good ways. It's given me lots of freedom, which I've really loved, to do lots of different things, but perhaps it's given me a bit too much freedom to not buckle down and get on with something else. <laughs> yeah, when were you first in ID? Typical. Um, <laughs> Corin Day? No, I don't know. It wasn't Corin Day. It was. Um, I don't know. Can't remember. Do you have roughly an idea when it was? How old you were? Ninety-eight. Ninety-eight. No, no, no. What am I talking about? Ninety-eight. Eighty-nine. Wrong. No, I don't know. Start again. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, okay, 1990 I did the face cover. Right. And then I think I did an ID cover around that, like 1991, I don't know. Yeah, how would you say that kind of modelling has affected your life then kind of from that point? What's... Um, hugely. <laughs> I was 15 probably when I did, did my um, first cover. So it's all my growing up period really. No, I mean, it's affected everything for me. I mean, I try and I try and um, be as normal as I can. It is pretty mental. Do you, do you think? Um, like, would you would you take up like that first job again if you had to? Yeah, definitely. I've had the best time ever and met the best people and I have the best friends and I've had such extraordinary times. Yeah. Thanks, bye. <laughs> And call management, seek some reimbursement for the nerve endings that burn from the first hits. From a head full of pressure, as the senses that I clutched made a date with divinity, but she wouldn't let me fuck. I got touched by an easy shade of God, helped me change, caught a rush on the floor from the life in my face. Head full of pressure, as the senses that I clutched made a date with divinity, but she wouldn't let me fuck. And I got touched by an easy shade of God, helped me change, caught a rush on the floor. From